Start with the Grendel, 22 feet. Safety is a little different. Up and then down is fire. Kind of interferes with my trigger finger and my hand a little bit. Let's see how it works. Shooting at 10 yards today. Which one are you shooting at? Huh? Where are you shooting? Top right. The right orange dot? Yeah. I guess I could keep shooting. How does it feel? The A lot of flame coming out different. of there. Huh? A lot of flame coming out of it. So it doesn't lock open on an empty magazine, apparently. I noticed that looking at it yesterday. But the trigger reset was almost, it was like you pull the trigger and it just already is reset. Were you comfortable with those okay. shots? Uh, yeah, they were all right. Here's the 5.7. Which one are you shooting at? The middle one? Uh, yeah, the middle one. This one, the same, a little bit more ergonomic here. Quite a flamethrower there, too. Yeah, no recoil with either one. Looks like it's a little sloppier with the 5.7. Alright, now we'll bring another shooter out. Okay, so this one's the 5.7. 5 5.7 by 28. Made, made FN. People that make the uh, PS90. And this is the same ammo as the PS90. See if we can't do a uh, point of view shot here. Shoot at this bottom target. Bring that safety off. A little bit of recoil. Give me a little trouble today. You can see it on here, but we're looking at three little white dots. I don't think it's going to show up. Let's see how we go. Next, we'll shoot this Grendel 22 Magnum. Magazine is a little more clunky. Definitely it's got a horrible safety. And now we're going to shoot at this uh, bottom left square. Got a very light trigger. That happened without uh, really being ready for it. I was having a little trouble that time and the safety had gone up on me just from my hands gripping the gun. All right, that's a couple. Let's see if we can see where these all went. Well, I'll have to change the focus here and then we'll see if we can get them out. 
so now we're gonna zoom out there and see how we did. The right there is the uh, 507. I did about four shots with it. And then over on the left is the uh, Grendel P30. I'd say the Grendel kicks a little bit less. Costs about half as much to shoot. Had a lot of fun with it. I really uh, think that might be one that I'd uh, consider. Just as a nice range gun. That was out at 10 yards. Comfortable to shoot. Kind of fun. So this is the 5.7 again. shooting out here at 10 yards at that uh, top square in the bottom target and the rounds dropped into a fairly decent group down there about eh, two and a half inches wide but about what three inches low but a good group there I will shoot the Grendel P30 again 22 mag 30 round magazine Yeah, the safety is weird. A lot of fire coming out of that one. And which one were you shooting at there? Uh, stutter of the cross. The big one in the bottom? Circle, middle. They're six inches low, three, four inches to the right. So I'll we'll have to take a look at those a little closer. And that's at 10 yards. So with these two shooting left-handed, any uh, observations? Uh, I don't know if it has to do with being left-handed, but the safety on the Grendel, uh, don't really let it. it comes down into your firing grip right here. Yeah, it it's pretty aggressive too. Right there. For some reason I decided to make it like a saw blade underneath it, even though it jams into you. No problem shooting uh, this one, Lefty? No problem shooting this one. The safety is ambidextrous. You can disengage it with your trigger finger or with your support hand over here. You can disengage it with your thumb like that. What I find is a little easier. Cool. So this time we were shooting at five yards just to see how it is. And I shot that uh, Grendel P30 at the top left here, dead center in that square. Barely shot a little bit low for me, but I'll definitely take that group any day. It's only five yards, of course, but fun little gun to shoot. All right, so this is the uh, first shooter shooting the uh, P9, uh, the uh, 5.7. You shot the 5.7 first, right? I shot the Grendel here. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so this is the first shooter shooting the P30. Shot pretty decent for him. And then the 5.7. Shot a little bit lower. Second shooter uh, shot the uh, five seven here. I only shot it four times, so it's one, two, three, four. And then uh, my second shots here were the uh, P thirty. Not a bad little group. Then the third shooter was aiming up here, and it shot down here for him. And then he was aiming here, and the group sort of spread out a little bit here. So not bad though. Fun little guns to shoot.